Hello and welcome back to another tutorial series by Mastercode Online. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online, like I just said. Uh, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Uh, so I've been getting a lot of requests on a daily basis to do more Django uh, tutorials. I think the best approach here is going to be uh, uh, how to Django is going to be the name of our tutorial series. And basically what it's going to be is uh, whenever I am working on a Django project, which I, I am every day uh, since that's my living, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys a tutorial. So if we haven't covered it before, I'll jump on, uh, show you guys a you know something cool with Django and how to do it and um, then uh, what is I gonna say so that way I'm not tied into an app all right because if I'm tied into an app I lose interest as many of you have seen covering or follow my tutorials I'll do a lot of you know tutorials on a Django app and then lose interest this way I can kind of just bounce around and uh, do a lot of cool things so uh, let's get started. Basically, what we're going to do in this one is just set up a basic example app. It's going to be our starting point for every tutorial. Um, and then we'll, you know, when I got something cool to show you guys, I'll upload it and it will help you guys uh, learn Django. So let's get started. Um, so I got a directory on my computer called Django. So I'm going to CD into Django and then I'm going to do virtual. EMV and I'm going to call it example. That is going to be the name of our um, app is going to be an example. So we're creating a virtual environment for that app. So once it's done loading or creating loading, creating that virtual environment. There we go. I'm going to clear my screen. So we're back at the top and I'm going to CD into example. Now I'm going to activate that um, virtual environment by doing source bin forward slash activate and it will activate that and I can list out what's in there. We got bin include lib and pip self check and then I'm just going to do pip install Django. So it's installing 1.11.7 if it bumps up to 1.12 then we'll uh, look at how to update it or if it goes to Django 2 which is eventually going to come out then I'll show you guys how to upgrade to that so let's go ahead and now that we got that created list it out and we're going to create a new project so we're going to do um, Django admin start project and we'll call it example. Boom. So now if we list it out, now we got example. So we CD into example and list that out. And then we'll do python manage.py run server. And this is the point we're trying to get to right now is just run the server. And this is going to be the starting point for every one of our projects. So we got a URL here. I'm going to go ahead and paste that into my browser just to make sure it's working. And there we go. It worked. Congratulations. All right. So <clears throat> uh, this will be the starting point for every one of our projects. One last thing we should probably do is uh, kill the server. Oops, control C to kill it. And we should do uh, python manage.py migrate. And this will migrate all the um, tables into our server or into our database, I should say, not server, uh, into our database. And that way we have a good starting point. There we go. All right, so in the next tutorial, we'll do something cool. And I'll show you guys some Django. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next tutorial.